Hi there. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Steve Jewell. I'm the pastor at Trinity Presbyterian Church in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm so glad to have you join me as we study the Word of God together. We're working our way verse by verse or a few verses at a time through the New Testament letter uh, of Ephesians. This is Paul's letter to the believers at a church in Ephesus. And we're in Ephesians chapter 1. Today we'll look at verse 17 here in just a moment. But first, please join me as we pray. Let's pray. Speak, O God, on this glorious day, on this day that you have made, make yourself known. We ask, O God, through your word, by the Holy Spirit, in the person of Christ, help us, O God, to see and in seeing to believe and in believing, enjoying the full grace and gifts you offer us in your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So Paul opens with a blessing and now kind of a, a prayer, if you will, or a reflection upon the, the longing in his heart as he prays and, and pleads on their behalf before God. He says this, starting in verse 16, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. Verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation and the knowledge of him. Paul is longing that God, by the Spirit, in the person of the Son, will make known to them, in an increasing measure, God's wisdom and knowledge, relationship of who God is. Now, one of the things that's fascinating about Christianity, and Christianity is unique among every other religion that has ever been or ever will be, every, any belief system, any philosophy, any ideology. Because Christianity is not fundamentally human-centered, but God-centered. Now, religion, religion has oftentimes been described as man or humanity's quest and search for God, whereas Christianity is all about God's quest for humanity. God is on a mission, and the mission isn't that uh, God doesn't know where, and so, you know, looking under every rock and behind every corner. The mission is rescue. God knows all things. God is the powerful over all things. And so here, Paul is praying that God and asking that God would increasingly make himself known. The God who reveals. And we cannot and would not ever know anything rightly about God if God did not make that known, if God didn't reveal it. It's kind of like in our lives, you know, there, there are ideas and there are conclusions that people oftentimes reach about us. You know, they observe us, they watch us, they listen to us, they might pay attention, they see the way we dress or the way we carry ourselves or the way we interact. Maybe they just look at our physical characteristics and they reach a particular conclusion about us. Now, they can rightly reach some sense of who we are, but they can't know us. They can't know us in a way that relates to us in a meaningful and connecting way. The only way that happens is when we reveal to them who we are, what we like, what our preferences are, how we see the world, what, what we're thinking in the midst of a particular situation or circumstance. We need to reveal ourselves to others, make facts and truths known about who we are. God is in the business of revealing himself, not only through the creation, but most specifically through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and that then thereby through the word of God. And Paul is asking that God, he says, I remember you always in my prayers for this purpose, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that the Father, through the Son, in the Spirit, would make known God's wisdom and revelation that would lead to a greater knowledge of him. God is in the business of making himself known, that we can know him, relate to him, trust him. 
And the thing is, is we don't take time to do that. We want God on our terms. And we are impatient with the time and the effort and the attention it takes to listen. Friends, listen. Put your ear to the rail, if you will, in the word of God as you look to the face of the Son, Jesus Christ, and come to know by God's grace through faith, the God who reveals. I'll see you again next time.